Hey, good looking, I'm Vixen, and welcome back or welcome for the first time. Today we are playing Franbo. As per usual, I know absolutely nothing about this game except that it was a big phenomena uh, a while ago. Everyone seemed to be playing it, and it was very difficult to avoid spoilers, but I think I did pretty well. I'm just gonna do the options, then we'll get into it. Okay, there's no screen resolution that really works with mine <laughs> for some reason, so I've just gone with the biggest one, and we'll hope that that works. Okay, let's get into this. There's a nice cat here. Let's go. Okay, good. I'm glad. Fast forward. Everything's fine. I don't think it is. Do I have to... It feels like heaven. For now. Click. I see my parents. They look happy. But everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. They have a present for me. I wonder. Is it the cat? Yes. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. Oh, there we go. My only friend. Yeah, I think I can see how this might go. <laughs> I don't want to say that because it will probably invert my expectations, but... Who's that? We're having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. If something happens to the cat, I will destroy this world. I really like her a lot. It's eerily quiet. Her parents die, don't they? It's Friday. My parents are going out really, really slowly. Drive safe. <laughs> Aunt Grace takes good care of me. She's so happy. Makes me sad because I'm pretty sure that's not going to last. We are having so much fun. Need this in GIF form. <laughs> Aww. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. Do I have to remember what happens on all these days? But something feels real bad. Oh my gosh! It's the Krampus. Whoa, he's huge! A strange creature outside my window. Okay. I don't like it. It scares me. Go get an adult. Go to your aunt. Suddenly I hear something. Hug the cat. If nothing else, it's a de-stressor. It's mom. Screaming. Oh. That's glorious. I want to know what's wrong. 
<sighs> Starting to get the heebie jeebies. A bright light shines from my parents' room. If something was going on in there, why wouldn't you shut the door? I go closer. <laughs> oh, I don't think you're gonna like what you see, Fran. Well, if that is your name, I assume it is. I'm closer. Good. Mom? Dad? Was it Aunt Gail? Was that her name? Gail? Grace? I can't even remember. <laughs> oh, Fran. Please don't. I'm going to call you Fran. I don't know if that's your name, but I think, I hope that's all right. Rather than just child. Okay, then. That's pretty intense. Mommy. Daddy? Oh my god, his eye! Yep, okay. Knew this was going to be screwed up, but... That is, that is a lot of strength to be able to cut someone in half using that little knife. What happened to her aunt? Is it going to turn out she did that? There's no way. She's not strong enough. Oh. Unless she's secretly a demon or something. Or Mr. Midnight is. Protect her at all costs, friend. Oh. <laughs> Where's he going? Oh, there's a person. Fran, please follow my voice. So her name is Fran. Unless I am being deceived. On the count of three, you will wake up. Is this just a nightmare world? It's not real? It was all a dream. One. Two. Three. <sighs> Hello. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Confused and conflicted. But I have a sharp haircut. I feel like dying. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. How old is she supposed to be? Sadness is something everybody has within. Okay. I want to find the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. Maybe that will give her closure. The police are working on it, so it hasn't been that long. She doesn't know where her cat is! I'll do it. I'll find the killer and my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. Why? But now I have something 
for you, Fran. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> it's from Aunt Grace. Her name was Grace. Take it. Take it. Is it this purse? Ooh. Ooh. Neat. Can I investigate anything else? No. It's just... This was my mother's pass. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be my inventory, isn't it? Open it, there is something inside. Sure. How would I do that, do I just click it? Ooh, examine. Examine this. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. What? And give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. Well, who's looking after me? Shouldn't it be Aunt Grace? She is worried about you. Well, my parents were just murdered, dude, okay? Aunt Grace. I said click on this. Aunt Grace? Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, well, whatever. What? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She is fine. Can I leave now? Can I go to my room now? Oh, I see. I'm in an asylum. Or a mental hospital. They're the same thing. Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? <coughs> It's a little slow to load, but it's called Duotane, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Please don't touch me. You have odd proportions compared to the rest of us. Look at how small your feet are. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Should you be telling her this, like, right in front of me? Oh, I see. What happened to patient confidentiality? Here, Fran. Take your medicine. I'm just gonna have a look around here if I can. Apparently not. Okay. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. Don't tell me what to do! Happy? Happy? What do I do now? I don't feel any different. I can't move. Should, should I be... I don't feel good. He doesn't care. We're about to go to a separate dimension, aren't we? Yes! A noose. Whoa! What happened to the door? That's a lot of heads. It's the same heads. Those are her parents' heads. Okay, creepy thing here. Don't touch me. Is that actually my mother? Oh gosh. What the hell did you give me? Oh no! Take her back to her room. That will help, yeah. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Well, you were one who was so adamant that I took it. 
I didn't even want the pills. Honestly, did they not consider what could happen if I took them? What did they think would happen? I would just get relaxed. Too relaxed. I'm in the void, but without my cat. Beware, Fran Bo. For the devil stalks you this night. Is this a skip the cutscene or is it just a skip to the next? Because I don't want to click it if it's skip the cutscene. Wow, I had trouble saying that. If you leave the house of madness, you will be vulnerable to the madness outside. You will die. Don't touch me with your... I will hunt you down. Okay. Surely you are hunting me down right now. Catch you. Kill me. And bring you back to insanity. I'm already insane, dude. There's... I mean... <laughs> What are you going to do? Make me more insane? My beautiful friend. Fran. Wake up. You can talk? If I have a talking cat friend, I will be so happy. The medicine will help you escape. But the medicine didn't help anything. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Ah. Why didn't my cat come with me? I guess they wouldn't let him in. I love you. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. Oh, my only friend. What is that? My mother speaking to me or something. Through my cat. Okay, it seems like theories are going to be... Okay, chapter one, my sober day. Theories are going to be abounding in this, I get the feeling, which I quite like. I like mysteries. I get it, it's chapter one. That's a lovely picture to have in this kind of place. Can I get up? Don't know. Maybe? I'm still here. Hideous place. I like that, how that's an icon of... Oh, I guess because it's hurting their thoughts. I have to get out of here. It's nice that they wear you wear... Let like you wear your own clothes. Oh, look. Okay, so that's how you move around. I have nothing in here. There's this thing. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. I'm probably going to have to remember that, aren't I? One more time. La, 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 la. Okay. Open this. I'm sure that's going to be a, a code for something. LOCKED! Curses! Please don't let there be a demon outside my window. Oh, this whole place is falling apart, but at least I have a hook. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Let's examine... No, I say examine... A golden hook that fell from the curtains. Good. What's outside? <laughs> okay. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fran. Oh. Or is it defense tower? Um, I guess that is my way out. <laughs> Oops. No! Okay. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Okay, well, let's go back. 
creepy picture of a clown. I will get your nose. I will get it. Oops. Are you happy, clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Okay. Can I do anything with this? Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Okay. Let's look at my chart. Okay. Fran Bo Dagenhart. She's 10. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. 1944! Psycho... what? I'm not that for sure. Side effects. Effects affecting one side of me. Maybe? Oh dear. I really wonder who brought me here. I don't know some people. Okay. Don't get into the... I don't want to. I just woke up. I was trying to take the sheet. Just take everything. <sighs> Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. We're not going to sleep, so it's all going to be fine. <clears throat> okay, I think this is probably a game where you have to pay lots of attention. Red and Tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now! I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Okay. Can I pull this back? No. Alright, what's on this side? What are you doing? Stop! 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 Fran! My goodness. <laughs> More ch a child. Okay, what's on the other side? More children? A lady. I can only go that one way, so we're going to start here. Um. My legs are just fine. Good. Gonna need those for running, I guess. Wow, what a pleasant view. There's a playground. Um, not so easy to see through this. Yes, okay. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Perfect! Towels! Towels? I don't need towels! Always have a good towel with you. I can't see. There's a playground. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Okay. <laughs> right, hello. Can I take stuff from you without you getting annoyed at me? I'm just gonna... Oh. I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Let's ask. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. Should I be doing voices? How long was I asleep? Yes. Three days, maybe. Three days, maybe. There we go, that voice did some more. Was it the medicine? That made me sleepy. I think you just had psycho psychological trauma. Yes, yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it anymore. Great. Something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. Did it? You had a dream. See? You are nothing but trouble! What is it? Oh, I broke the curtain. 
Okay, load a bit quicker, please. Nothing. Oh no, if I get her to investigate the curtain, then I can see what she's writing. Hold on. Hello, good lady. I need to distract you. Nurse, something happened. Yep. Yep. I broke your curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Whew! Accidentally! I have to fix this! Follow me! I'm not going to follow you, but I... I will distract you with my own clumsiness. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Good la day, lady. Good day. Good day to you. Enjoy. Right. Let's do this. Let's... I'm curious. Yes! But the nurse is still inside this room. She's over there! Ah, oh, okay then. I have to actually remove her from the room? Hi. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? No. No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this. You little girl. That, what, what an odd way to finish a sentence. Right, good. She's leaving. Let's do this. Let's do this, Fran. Well, we can. <sighs> Let's take these. Uh oh. I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Good. Right? Ew. Ew! What is it? Violent trauma can have great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in such abilities, some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. Isn't that what you just said? This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word that doctor... Okay. Hehe, <laughs> the brain looks like a turtle. <laughs> Okay, right, I skipped trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. Okay. Can I open this? Yes! Hide. I think this is where the medicine in is, but it's locked. Do I need a code for that? Well, clearly. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is terrible! Why would the nurse have this? Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all! I'll just... I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Okay. Put, cl close the door. I can't. Whoa. Gladys... Hannah. The patient has... Something sleeping almost... Been sleeping almost all this time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Haven't I been asleep? Some kids have come around and asked about her, and when she would come out and play. Do a time. Okay, code. Oh, I don't need to remember. A, B, C. Okay, so it's just literally numbers. Just literally numbers. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Right, I should be able to do... Okay, let's examine these. Examine. Examine. Tiny patches to cure wounds. They don't really cure them, but... My pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack... The code. Ok. 
Okay, then use. That was eight. H I nine. A B C four. Five. Yeah. The pills. Kitty told me. No, I didn't mean to take those yet. Okay, don't take them. Well, that's all for today, folks, but the story will continue. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. I will see you all in the future. TTFN and cheerio!